Hi guys, Techman here with another quick update. You might recall that in my first video I mentioned that the aim of this channel is not to make money. And I made a promise not to place any advertisements on any of my videos. But there seems to be some advertisements at the beginning of some of my videos. Why the ads then, you might ask? Enlighten me. Well, I thought this was a bit strange at first myself. I'm not a YouTube partner nor have I opted to monetize my content. But looking deep, it seems that YouTube have recently made changes to their policies. This also includes monetizing smaller YouTube channels and making revenue from non-YouTube partner channels. This is understandable. I mean, I am using their platform to get my message across to a global audience, and this service is available 24-7. However, my preference would have been for them to place the adverts on the side of the videos and not on the videos itself. That is a great idea. Well, I don't own the platform, so I can't make that choice, but that would have been my preference anyway. Personally, I would like my videos to be accessible to all free of charge. I don't want to have a premium service or membership benefits such as Patreon, where members receive perks or exclusive content for their regular donations. I just want to help as many people as I can, and I want to do this free of charge. Seriously, if anybody should pay for my time, it perhaps should be the manufacturers whose products I discuss on this channel. But the gist is, I don't want to charge anybody for my opinions or my advice. As I mentioned in my first video, this channel is all about sharing your knowledge and helping others. Helping others to make the right choice, getting manufacturers to stand behind their products, and providing them with feedback to help build better power stations or solar generators. Now, now then, coming on to the Monster X. I mentioned in an early video that a dear friend of mine has finally received his unit after a year long wait. Now the unit he received wasn't in good condition. There were cracks around the handles and he informed all powers of the damage. As with many of these Chinese manufacturers, they ask you to send an email with pictures of the damage. But despite sending this email, he never received a response. No surprises there. I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. I'm Are you surprised? surprised? He then contacted all powers on the Indiegogo page to seek a resolution. All powers asked him to send an email to another mailbox. Absolutely pathetic. In fact, I've been keeping a track of all the comments on the Indiegogo campaign page, and it seems this is a common theme with all powers. They ask you to send them an email and then give you the silent treatment. When you follow them up with another email, they ask you to resend them the email or send your query to another mailbox. Now, my colleague did send them an email to their support mailbox, and you guessed it, there's been no response from all powers. All the meanwhile, the cracks continue to deepen on the unit. In fact, many backers have received units with cracks around the handles. And as far as I'm aware, no units have been replaced. Using the Monster X myself, I've noticed unusual activity on the battery capacity. I question whether a shunt has been installed at all. I think they're using the battery voltage to measure the remaining capacity. Now this isn't the most accurate way to measure battery capacity. Lithium-based chemistry cells have a very flat charge and discharge curve, and so it's a difficult task to determine the state of charge, or SOC, just based on battery voltage. I've recorded this unusual behavior and further details on the unit itself and its performance will follow in due course. I do have some more things I would like to discuss with you, but to keep this video short, we'll discuss that in another update. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.